Then there she was. Her hair was long. They couldn't move a little. She was so, so beautiful. And then after a while, she said she had to go. And she asked me if I understood. Oh, oh my God. They're so hard. They're like, they're like, they're like kneecaps. That's gross. Is the other one like that? Yeah. But... Here, feel them. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my God. Feel them. Here, feel them. No. Feel them. No. Viv, feel them. They're... I, don't wanna... I really don't want to do them. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, they're hard. They're oh, really hard. God. They're really hard. <sighs> Are you sure you gave it to me? I'll sit behind you like this so you don't see me. Uh-huh. Okay? And I won't make a sound. Not a word. I promise. Do you have a cell phone? No. I can't do anything while you're here, so it kind of ruins it for me. It's kind of boring if you aren't getting off, isn't it? Shut up. You said you wouldn't talk. You talk to me. I can do that. I can talk to you. You can't talk to me. Plus, I just thought of one more rule. If you get a boner, you're out. You're not frigid. How would you know? Good sex isn't dumb or cheap like the sex in porn. Thank you, I'm not a dumbass. Okay, well, the stuff I'm going to bring over will actually make you want to think about having real sex, loving sex. I've had a lot of sex. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I bet you do. You know, you're, you're so ugly. I know you find me attractive. Not at all. Why don't you sleep in your great aunt's old apartment tonight? Her old apartment freaks me out. I know you find me attractive. <laughs> if I wanted to have sex, I would go find someone. 
sexy, not like you. Okay, so you don't think I'm sexy? I don't like your face. Well, it's not your face I like the most either. You're disgusting to me. The thought of your penis is even more disgusting. When have you ever seen a dick that looked nice or smelled nice? You should feel ashamed. Limp or erect, it's sick. Well, you said dick. You never say dick. You're an asshole. I think my dick looks really nice. That's because you're an idiot. So, uh, what, what do I have your backpack? You going somewhere? Uh, I'm traveling, so, um... Yeah, I'm actually waiting for a friend. I don't know if uh, I've got the wrong place or not, so... I was just gonna, you know, sit tight. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna stick tight, too. Can I get you a drink? Eh, uh, okay. All right, can we get one of these? Thank you. Today we are going to talk about Oni Judge. She was a slave in the 1700s, so Oni lived with the Washingtons. Mrs. Washington loved her. She was like, oh my god, you're my totally fucking like favorite. They go, oh, Oni, guess what? We've got a great thing for you. We're going to give you as a gift to Martha Washington's daughter. So she's like, <laughs> Okay, so she serves the Washingtons their last dinner. They don't know it's their last dinner. She's just serving them dinner. Okay, they eat, they go to sleep or whatever. She sneaks off into the night. She sails from Pennsylvania to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Okay, Washington wakes up. She's missing. They don't understand. I mean, I'm sure they're pissed. I'm sure they're in denial. I'm sure in their psycho heads, they're like... <laughs> What the fuck? We gave this girl the best life we could. What the fuck? I'm not making this up, but this is how much history repeats itself. If you don't fucking pay attention, they blamed the fucking French. 